All right, everyone. Hi, it's Chris Petrie. Welcome. Hey, we're doing a little bit of a different video this time. Just a quick, really quick uh, technology video to help you get better with your watercolors by using some technology. I'm a big believer in trying to use everything you can to make your artwork better. So if this can make your artwork better, I want to share it with you and show you how I do it, how I use my phone to um, make my artwork better. I'm able to take pictures from the internet and from videos and save them on my phone into my photos file and then use them to paint from. So I want to share with you the same thing. Now, please, this is a little bit of a disclaimer up front. Every, I'm not great at technology. I'm okay with phones and computers. Okay, halfway decent, not great. There's a lot of people out there that are really fantastic with it, especially younger people. So if you know some younger people like nephews or grandchildren or... You know, um, you know, you might have some other uh, children. Your children might be really great with computers, or you know, a friend or something who has children and they're great with computers. Please uh, reach out to them and have you help. You know, have them help you do what, what's called screen captures or screenshots. So that's what we're trying to do here: is a screen capture or a screenshot. So if you're not great with the phones, you know, as far as doing technical th stuff on your phones or your computers. That's when you'd reach out to a family member. Younger people are really great with computers or friends that you know that are really good. You know, your siblings, your parents even might know more. So the thing is, I'm going to do it on my phone, and this is an iPhone 12 Max Pro. So not everybody has an iPhone. Some people have Samsung phones, and there's other Nokia phones, and there's tons of phones. I don't know what kind of phone you have. This one is an iPhone. That's what I, I, I buy lately. I buy a new phone maybe once every three years. So this one's the 12. It's probably already outdated by a couple years. Or I don't even know. But the main thing is I just want to show you essentially how it kind of works. And then you can go from there. And you can also, too, please use YouTube as your source to find out how to do these things, too. You just type into YouTube how to do a screen capture with a... And you type in your phone model, iPhone 6, iPhone 8, whatever it is, or how to do a screenshot with my iPhone 6 or iPhone 4 or iPhone 12, whatever you have. So YouTube is an incredible place you can look up information too on how to do things. But I just want to give you the general essence of how, what I'm doing and how you can do it. And then we're going to maybe do another video after this on maybe like your laptop computer. But right now we're just going to stick with the phone. So that's the first thing we're doing is we're saving photos from YouTube videos. And we call those screen captures or screenshots. And we're going to do it with our phone. And I'm going to just show you how I do it with this one, this particular phone, the iPhone 12 Max Pro. And of course, you, everyone has different phones, so I can't say how to do it with each phone. But the general idea, we're going to capture this general idea of how to do it. You would go to YouTube and find out your favorite video. Maybe it's my video here, and you're saying, oh, I really want to save this screen capture from Chris Petrie's video. So the way, I, the way I do it when I do my screen captures is I simply have, on my phone, I have two buttons. The left side, there's two buttons here, uh, volume buttons most of the time, but they also function as other... Um, things you can do with these two buttons, but these are mostly volume up and down. Here is the on off button on the right side. So to do a screen capture on this phone particularly, I have to I have to press the top button here, which is the volume maybe button or also the screen light and dark. I think it's actually the volume mostly, volume of your your uh, volume of your speaker on your phone. So you take your speaker volume up button, the up button on the top and then you take the bottom, or you take the other side, which is the on-off button, and you click both of those simultaneously at the same time when you see the picture you want to capture on your video. So let's try it and see how it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin my phone this way. Two buttons on this side here. One button over here. Okay, so I'm ready there. I have that. Now I'm going to spin the phone around just so I can... Let's see. Let's try it this way. Okay. Now, this is actually playing right now. I turn the volume off so you can't hear it. Then I take this and I just squeeze these two buttons like we just talked about. And there you see how that did that? That's what we call a screen capture or a screenshot. What happens is you'll know you 
did it correctly when you see that little picture show up at the bottom of your screen. Now, we go like this, we turn our phone back up right, like so. Okay, we just tap on it. And then we just close out of the, we close out of YouTube like that. Then we go to our photos and it's gonna be in our photos. Then we go to our photos. And there you have it, you scroll up and you say, oh, look at that. It's right there in my photos and now you have the photo. And that's simple enough. Then you can just take it, spin it around, and there you have it. And then you just rest it up on something. You know, you might have a roll of tape. You can rest it on a roll of tape, set it by your work table, like that. You could get more fancy. I bought one of these things for like $10. It's a little metal holder for my phone. You could put the metal holder like that. Set your phone up on that, like so, right across from where you're working. If you're nervous that you're gonna get paint on your phone, you can use a little piece of plastic, which I also do. Um, it's uh, acetate plastic, or you can use any kind of plastic. Um, and you just take a small piece of plastic and you put it in front of your phone so you don't splash on it, or you keep it far enough away that it's not gonna get affected, like over here to the left, let's say, however you wanna set it up. But that's essentially how you do it. So you have a stand, or you, you, you rest it against a piece of tape, a tape roll, like so. Can you see how that works? Perfect, so now you have a perfect way to set up a photograph of my painting, the finished painting, and you can also do that for the sketch. So when once I'm done with my sketch, you can do a screen capture of the sketch. Let's try one more time. Okay, so this is the finished painting. I always put that in the beginning of my video, so you can do this exactly, do a screen capture. We'll do it again, too, with the uh, sketch. Okay, so now, we close out of our photos, we go out of the photos application. Now we're gonna go back to YouTube. We go back, the same video, here it is. Now we're gonna hit go. We're gonna hit play, and now it's playing. And now we can fast forward and find out where our sketch is. And there it is, we're doing some drawings, I'm looking at this. We're, we're gonna stop on the finished sketch. So let's see how far we have to go. Oh, we're already getting to the paint portion. Okay, there we go. Now there's the finished sketch. We do the two buttons. There you have it again. Screen capture, finish sketch. We turn our foam right back upside this way. Then we close out of YouTube. We go to our photos and our screen capture is gonna be right in our photos, right after the other one we did with the painting. Right there, see that? And there you have it. You have the sketch right there. And hopefully that makes sense. I think it's looking good. Maybe we'll see, how, I don't know how great my focus is on this video, I'm gonna have to do this over again. Let's see how we do, did with our focus here. Let's see how I did. All right, that's pretty good. So my focus stayed pretty good here. Okay, that's a little better. All right, so you can see on my phone, I captured the sketch fine, like that. And it's on my, in my f files, my, f my photos file. See, these are all of my photos. We did this one. Slide to the left, there's the sketch. Perfect. And there you have it. And then you can just spin it this way. And you have the sketch right there, just like that. And then you just rest it up again against a piece of tape or if you have a stand for your phone. And this way you can work with that. If you have an iPad, it's a little larger, you'll be able to do the same thing with your iPad. And what's the great thing is you can send this to your email or you can text message it to your iPad or your laptop computer. So that's a, let's try that. So now we've screen captured the finished painting and the sketch, just like that, both of those. You can even, for those of you that want to get more advanced, you can edit your pictures and shrink them down and take out the, you can, you know, you can crop out and remove the paint uh, pan here, the um, palette, so that you have only this showing, the sketch, that's fine, the drawing, but let's keep going. So now we're going to go back again, close out of this, and then we're gonna say, okay, 
I've now done a screen capture or a screenshot with my phone. It could be any phone. I just happen to be using this one. You have to figure out your phone and how to do it with your phone, if you can even do it. Some phones will not have the feature of being able to do your screen capture. But you can do it from a laptop, and you can do it from a home computer, like a desktop computer, and I'll cover that in, an, in a subsequent video soon. But for right now, I'm just going to do the, the video, uh, this video with the phone, the uh, cell phone. So... We did our screen capture slash screenshot. We got them into our, when you do your screen capture or screenshot, it goes right into your photos album or your photos file. So you have that, fine. Now you're going to say, I want to put this on my iPad or my uh, laptop computer or my desktop computer. It's very simple. You go into your, uh, let's say we're going to email it. I go to my emails. I go to create an email. Um, I go to Chris, I'll just do my own, Chris Petrie, hotmail.com. You could also do um, Chris Petrie at ATT, which is usually my my normal uh, Chris Petrie at att.net. That's my normal one. You will sometimes send me your pictures or questions on that, att.net, Chris Petrie, at att.net. For questions and sending me pictures of your paintings, lovely, beautiful paintings. Everyone's sending me these gorgeous paintings. Incredible. Everyone's doing great out there. So you go to your email you want to send it to, your own personal email that you have. You send. You just type in your own email address, and you just type in whatever, a photo, um, boats, boat painting, boat painting, boat painting. Good. And then just um, at this point, um, I want to go get, I can leave this just like this and just hide that for a second and go over to my photos, grab my picture of my photo, copy. So you're going to copy your photo. So you go into your photos. After you close out your, you can do this first or you can do this now. So that's what I did first. Let's just go again. I started doing my email, Chris Petri at ATD, ATT.net. And <clears throat> typed in my subject matter. Uh, photo boat painting then I just close it out for right now it won't close it'll just kind of disappear as I swipe it off right now for the second go to my photos then I go to my gorgeous painting of the boat here the boat painting then I say let me copy that so I go to the op copy photo and then we close it then we go back to the email and we just hold down until it says it gives me the option to paste it. Paste. There it is. So now I've just pasted my photo into my email. It'll go to my uh, laptop. It'll go to my desktop computer. And it'll also go to my uh, iPad if I have one. I don't have an iPad, but some of you have like those pads, the larger pads that are kind of like giant phones. So you have some of those. And that's all you need to do is send it to your email. So I'm emailing this to myself. I hit go. I go uh, large, not actual size. I don't think I need all that much. 2.7 megs. It goes off. It's 2.7 megs. Now I go to my emails, and I go to my inbox here, and I'll maybe going to do some cleanups here on my uh, emails. And I'm waiting for that to arrive. So it should arrive in any second. So that's a simple, really a simple way to do it. I know some of you are just, you've got this already. You probably do this yourself. Some of you are like scratching your heads and going, hmm, I think I can do this. Pretty, doesn't seem too difficult. I kind of know how to do most of the stuff you're talking about. You'll get it right away. Pretty much there'll be a couple little trial and errors. Some of you, like I said, if you're not good with phones and things like that, have somebody help you with this. Maybe have them watch this video first and say, this is Chris. He's showing you how to do a screen capture and a screenshot. You're good with computers and phones and things. Can you just do what he just did and, and send, you know, and do that and send me the photo? And they'll do it for you, and it'll be really easy. So let's see if it comes in yet. Here it is. All right, it came into my email already. Here it is from myself. I sent an email to myself from my own phone. Tap it on there. There it is. Now I can open this again on my desktop computer, my laptop computer, so you can have a really large size painting on your screen on your laptop or your desktop computer, or if you have a, a large pad, like a large 
uh, iPad or one of those pad devices. You know, they're like really big, like eight by ten or whatever it is. You know, like a large size. So then you can then you'll have a large size of this painting. So that's really how to do it. Or you can just use your phone. Click on your photos, and there you have it. And you can section it off and say, you know what, I'm just going to do the house and the top of the boat, and a little bit of this over here. And then you can you can crop your own paintings and set up your paintings and move them around to do different things. You might say, I'm just going to do this little shack over here and maybe the front of the boat, and that's it, like that. So you can crop your paintings like that, zoom them in, do a little bit less. Don't try to do the whole painting. Do maybe the boat in this little shack and then leave out that house there if you don't want to paint everything, you know. So you kind of be creative. But this is a great way to take your art to another level when you're painting is using your cell phone, your laptop, you know, your uh, desktop computer. You can even plug your laptop into your big screen TV. If you have a big screen TV, you could take this painting and uh, that we have here, you could take this painting, plug your laptop into, we're going to cover this in another video. You could take your laptop, once you send this painting to your laptop, you could take your laptop, plug it into a big screen TV, and then you can have this painting on your big screen TV. And then you can just almost, it'll be just like if you're outdoors painting from a live scene outdoors because you're, you know, you're, your uh, TV, your large screen TV, you know, might be whatever, 40 inches or 50 inches big. And then, you know, you'll have a giant size um, photograph to work from. So you can put this onto a large panel TV too. Very simple. It's just one cable. All you only got to do is buy one HDMI cable that goes from your laptop to your TV. Most uh, TVs, big screen TVs, have at least three, two or three HDMI ports. You plug one into your laptop, you plug it into your TV, and it usually just right away syncs up and you'll have it going. Okay, I'll cover that on another video, but I wanted to cover the cell phone, getting your screen capture or screenshots on your cell phone so that you can use your cell phone and set it up in, in front of you as you're working on any of my videos. I showed you how to do it. You can do the sketch, take a screen capture of your sketch, then you can do a screen capture of your painting, and then that'll be it. So, again, um, watch this video as many times as you have to to get, get the process of how to do it. But the main thing is use YouTube because YouTube will cover everybody out there is going to cover this with whatever type phone they have. So you'll find your phone somewhere on YouTube, whatever phone you have. I don't know what type of phone you have. A lot of people have iPhones, but there's a lot of people that have Samsungs and other types of phones too. So try to see... First of all, if your phone is even capable of doing a screenshot or a screen capture, because it may not be, but you will probably be able to do it with your laptop or your desktop computer, which I'll cover in another video very soon. But even if you're impatient and you can't wait for that video, you'll find it on YouTube somewhere. You'll find out how to do a screen capture or a screenshot using your computer, your laptop, your desktop computer, or even your iPad probably can do screen captures. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I hope many of you are going to try this out. It's really fun to have a gorgeous painting that you can just take right from your cell phone, set it up, and work from right from there. And then, you know, you have endless information you can use. You can use anybody's pictures from anybody's videos. You can go on to Google and Google all kinds of pictures. You can go back and look up photographs from old, you know, all the great old master painters like uh, Winslow Homer or Andrew Wyeth or anybody you want to do, you just look up their paintings on, and then do screen captures of their paintings and you can just set it right up on your phone and paint right from that. So I hope this helps. Um, please let me know in the comment sections if you like this video, if it was helpful. Uh, thumbs up, please, if you liked it and you think this is another, you'd like to see another video, video maybe of how to do it with your laptop or your desktop computer. If you don't think you need me to do it and you can find it on uh, YouTube by searching that, then fine, I won't do another video. But if you think this is something you like, you want to see more videos on the other devices as far as, you know, doing screen captures and screenshots on other devices, just let me know. And again, YouTube is always your best friend for finding out information on how to do any of these type of things because there's always experts that are way smarter than I am at using their devices and how to do things like this, but I'm just trying to do it because I know many of you ask questions about how can I use your picture or your drawing 
when I'm doing my painting because I don't see it on my video. So that's the main thing. I wanted to just cover this for that reason because there's a number of you that do often ask me that question. Um, why don't you have that picture like other videos have of, you know, your painting or whatever. And uh, so I covered that already, but oh, everybody have a great time with this. Don't get stressed. And again, if you get frustrated with this stuff, don't worry. There's tons of people that are smart with cell phones on YouTube. There's t you can find it on YouTube or your family, your friends, you know, you can always reach out and have somebody help you figure this stuff out. It's not that hard, but if you're not great like me with technology, then you'll be able to get somebody else to maybe help you with it. Okay. All right, enough talk. Let me get to making another video for you in just a few minutes so we can get started and start doing our videos for the uh, weekend here. Okay, see you soon.